think he said, here comes hey, the happy mice. happy Thursday. Oh. It is almost the mice. weekend. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> I could not be more excited that the weekend is upon us, because... Uh, Why? What are you going to do that's so fun? I, I don't know. I need to find out how I can get some rest this weekend. We're married with three children. <laughs> We have Are you no, telling me there's no rest we have in no my fun near future? And we get no rest. Just Luca, what it is. come here. Love we have um, yeah. Luca is going to be the star of the show today. Um, so we're trying to like reel him back in for whatever reason. He's being camera shy. Hopefully he doesn't go uh, pee pee or poo poo anywhere in front of camera. But if he does, whatever. Okay. It is what it is. Um, but no, yeah. Today we actually have a lot of <laughs> great things <laughs> for your pet. Uh, so if you're a pet owner, pet lover, have a friend who's either of the above, uh, this show is going to oh. be for you today. <laughs> oh, like, this looks like something fun Luke to chew Luke is deciding to chew the food ball. <laughs> there it oh, is. buddy. Look, there's nice treats in here. Yeah. <gasps> oh, a little head cock. <laughs> so we are coming to you live multiple platforms today. We're all across the board today. I Tiff. Know, really we're like exciting. everywhere. If so you, hopefully we're if, reaching you somewhere. Yeah, we're, we have to be because this camera goes to um, the United Kingdom. This camera, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Wouldn't that but be cool, actually? If we simulcasted like that, we could like simulcast to like outer space. This is it, this is weird. We, I feel we like could reach I'm in, a whole new like. This I'm in front. You're down here. Oh. It's, I feel strange here. All right. Well, get, grab a stool. Don't don't sit on nothing. Grab a stool. Ah, it's much better. <laughs> there we go. That's much better. Um, but no, we do have a great show for you today. Thank you for joining us on Lifestyled with Tiffany and Sergio. Um, our show that we come to you every single week, 12 to 1. And we do have some great things for your pet today. So if you Look love your little face. pup, if you love your cat, <laughs> we've got some great things for you today. This is Luca, Luca the mini oh. poodle, who actually loves to chew all the cables and cords and get himself into lots of trouble every single time. Oh, he's stretching. He's got he a big appearance today. Oh, he gave you a little, oh, he gave you the, oh, he gave you the coolie you shot. Show now. Oh, he's got a voice too. <laughs> there he is, Luca Duke. I know we have got some really great things yeah. in the show today, specifically we do. for Luca, which we do. I feel like are very timely yeah. because we've been experiencing some inclement weather here in the Northeast. So every time we take Luca out for a walk or to go to the bathroom, can you can you bring us up? You on, know, it's like yeah. So I can check and see if who's joining us. Oh, there it is. Um, we, you know, we we take him out for a walk. Um, you know, take him out to go to the bathroom. Yeah. And you know, it's raining out. So I feel like the items that we have in the show today are going to help us with that scenario. A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you are going to love some of this stuff because like Noel was saying, now listen, I like my dog the way it is, but sometimes when we dress it up, it's a touch much for me, but the dog is cute. Oh, no. I got to give on, it to you. The dog, dog is cute. A dog with a jacket or a parka The dog is, is like cute. We've got some great parkas. Level. Yes. Um, Lokitad uh, joined us. Um, so it, I'm just, I'm going to read off everybody who's joining us today here on the live. Those are the, uh, what, what's that face? No, I was oh. like smiling with my eyes. Oh. Obviously that's not allowed. So where would you what? like to start? Where would I like to start? Yeah. Luca left, by the way. Luca's not entertained See, by See, that's you. why today's show is going to be. <laughs> Come here, Luca. Complicated. Come here. Because I'll tell you what. Here, the star Luca. of the show is just going to keep walking away like he's doing right. Luca, come here. I have something. <laughs> so no, here. actually, why don't you? Why don't you? Well, you know what? Let's let's get the items. Hang yeah. tight. Come here. Come here. There he is. Come here. Sit down with mommy. Come here. We have something super cute. I want to start with the parka. Let's start with the um, navy blue one. The navy actually. blue one. Yeah, the parka. Um, we've got available for you in cute, like masculine <laughs> Are you serious right and now? feminine colors. The one, obviously, that we're going to put on Luca is the navy blue one. This is so incredibly cute um, and very easy to attach. Look at the inside of Shelley, it. Shelly, 3D how, bail like, bonds. How's it going? Just going to call your names out. Look at the inside of it, how like soft and just like luxurious this is. Um, obviously, it's going to keep little Luca warm. 
Um, but it's also going to keep him dry when he goes outside because the exterior lining of this is like waterproof. Oh, sit down, buddy. Scary Kirby. Um, look at how cute. Uh, this is so, so cute. Um, there's a little hole on the top of it, so you can um, click the leash through there if you'd like. Oh, by the way, it has a little hood as well. <laughs> look at this so if you thing. Are you put kidding a little me? Hat on him, that's cute too. Turn around, Luca. Show him how cute you look. <gasps> Simply human, oh. Iceman user. Megan says, hi, I'm away from 41,000, 41.3 thousand followers. Hey, good for you, Megan. That's awesome. Um, yeah, no, this is really cool. I like this. And especially right now here in where we are coming to you from, which is Pennsylvania, the weather here sucks. It's so bad. It's rainy. It's snowy. It's cold. And the dog could actually use something like this for our walks. And that was pretty easy to put on, right, Tiff? Like, yeah. That was it's simple. It's just Velcro right around, you know, kind of like right around the <clears throat> neck. Um, look up, Luca. There you go. Velcro right here. Super easy. Let me see if I can take it apart. Yep. Easily put it back on. Great. Yay! TJ. Luca's being a good model Jacob. today. And then it's Velcro underneath the belly like that. Um, so easy uh, to apply and stay on, um, but you know what? It's going to keep one of Andra. the one of the struggles that I find is that when you go outside and you have to come back inside and it's like you're drying them off, they're all wet. Yeah. So I feel like this really helps keep their coat yeah. and um, nice oh. and dry as I was well. Gonna, I was he looks say, like he's going hiking. He does look like he's going hiking, and you know what? That's actually a great uh, that's a great thing to say, Tiff, because. You know, I love to go on hikes, and this actually would be great for hiking, camping, any of those kinds of things. Look at right? this little guy. Is this a greyhound? Oh. Uh, right, look how cute or, that dog is. Or maybe like an Italian greyhound? Yes. You know the uh, park that we take Luca to? There's those two Italian greyhounds. How oh, cute. Look those at little the cute little pity. Oh, we Check out some of those pictures right there. My friends on TikTok, check that out right there. And this little pit's got some booties on as well, which I also believe that we have those available um, on market, which is amazing. Uh, look how cute that Greyhound look. So comfortable, so cozy. Helps yes. keep them warm during the, you know, kind of like colder months of the year. Also helps keep them dry. So you have the interior that's like that Sharpa, really soft, super fuzzy. I mean... I wish I had a blanket at home made out of the material that this yeah, little doggy like, jacket is made like, out of. This like fleecy comfort oh, like crazy. Oh, it's like incredible, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's going to keep them nice and warm, but it's going to also keep them dry. So, you know, the weather that we're experiencing here in the Northeast, it's like it's snow one day, it's lot. rain the next. Um, whatever it is, look at her. Can I just say real quick, if anybody has any questions about what we're talking about, what we're selling here, I just want you to ask us right here live. I'll make sure I call out your name. There are so many. Gerardo joined, Anna joined, um, Eagle joined, Talon. There's so many people, so many different names are scrolling through here. I want to try to call out as many as I can, but also answer any questions. If you have any questions about colors, sizes, um, you know, material, whatever it might be, please feel free, shout it out. Linda Sue, thanks for joining. Um, and we will try to answer them to the best of our abilities. So pardon me if I don't call out your name, I'm gonna put the phone down. But I like the yellow one, Tiff. Can we go to the yellow one next? Because you yeah. put this on before and I was just like, with his color, well, this the, actually looks really great. If you're wondering, the parka comes in the navy blue. Can you grab the oh, pink? Yeah, 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 Because that's sure. the same one oh, that, okay, yeah. that Luca has on. So if you have a female pup at home, and you're like, oh, I would love that blush pink color. We've also got that avail or available too. Or a male that likes pink. Super cute. I like pink. Look adorable. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cute that so dog is. Cute. <laughs> I love it. And yeah. you know what? They really do love these jackets. So if you've never put a jacket on your pup or yeah. your dog. Oh, look at this little guy. They love it. it <laughs> you know, they love to go out and play in the snow or even in the rain. But it also helps you in terms of cleanup when you come back into your house. It's very, very easy to take off. Yeah. Uh, keeps them warm, keeps them dry. The uh, user says, Luca is too cute. Need the pink one for my pup. Um, uh, let's see, Ranald, I'm sorry, uh, Ranald D, we'll call it. I can't believe how good this is. Um, Abel, thanks for joining. Yeah, like, honestly, you're if right. If you're looking for compliments when you walk your dog, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know any dog owner that doesn't love a dog compliment yeah. when they're walking the dog. If you're that gal <laughs> or guy, definitely.
put a parka on your dog because you will get an incredible amount of compliments. By the way, that was our tech director's dog right there. And the, what was it? What's the dog's name? Cody. 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 So that was that was little Cody. Can I just say Cody, Cody might be one of the so cutest dogs cute. I've ever seen in my life. Um, but yeah, so these are these are super easy to put on and easy to take off. And listen, <laughs> let's be honest, right? So Tiff loves the fact that the dog's all cute. And oh my God, so cute and cuddly. Aww, I like the fact cute. that you can put these on really quick, take them on really quick, because a lot of times you put something on a dog and the dog's just like, are you kidding me right now? I'm not wearing this. They do the whole shake and smack themselves into the wall, like get this thing off me. This is not that, this is not that article of clothing, right? No, it's comfortable, no. it's easy, it's yeah. not choking. Especially if you get the right sizes, a lot of time of these things that we have today, they come in sizes. Noel, we were saying what all the way from triple extra small, all the way up to to two x or four extra large. So, the sizes here are going to fit pretty much every single dog. Right? Look at that list chart right there. I mean, that's that's about every size of dog you can possibly own. Yeah. So right? if you're wondering, oh my goodness, I don't know what size my dog would take. Definitely refer to that um, size chart. That is going to be your best guide to figure out, you mm -hmm. know, is it a small, is it a medium, is it a large, is it an extra, extra large? Yeah. Um, I will say that, you know, um, the, the straps on here, uh, they do have elastic, so they do expand just a little bit. So if you do end up getting a size that, you know, might be slightly small, you are still going to be able to get um, that elastic yes. uh, stretch on there as well. Anthony Alvarez, Kanye. Uh, user says, looks so easy to put on and off. Yes, it is. Um, that's why we like it. Uh, Jay Demessa just joined. Um, Kylie, people coming in through here. Stick with us. If you have a dog or a cat or a pet or a pet lover or know someone who is any of the above, this is going to be um, the show that you're going to want to kind of stick around for because these clothes are really, truly puppy friendly. I mean, look at that. Look how cute, <laughs> how adorable. Cody! I love that Cody's wearing the navy, navy blue parka. Uh, navy blue parka, or we have it available in that blush pink. I think the blush pink is super, super cute if you have a little gal um, that would wear it. Look at the yellow. And then we've got another option for you uh, in a couple different colors. We have it available in the super cute, almost like canary yellow. <laughs> yeah, this is... How cute is this, Luca right? put this on, and I was like, it looks like a little rescue dog. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, Look at that little doggy right there. That's so cute. <laughs> so what's this one called um, in the in the yellow? This is the urban. Oh, this is the Arctic parka. So you're talking about a parka that is not just this really cool yellow color, but going to keep your dog warm. That same fleece material on the inside. And by the way, I mean, I know if George just has our close up here, but um, each one of these, she's going to put it on Luca right there. But you're talking about one leather oh, excuse me leather listen to me one velcro strap on the top one velcro strap in the middle that's it that's how easy it is to put this on and take off and again has that fleece lining on the inside to keep them warm with those fantastic waterproof colors on the outside look at that cool. Look, I love the yellow on Luca. How yeah. cute. That's my favorite one on Luca, actually. Love the yellow. Um, we've also got it available for you in an orange. I think the orange is really, really great. Yeah. Oh, somebody's asking, is it, are they easy to wash? Super know. easy oh, yeah. to wash, machine washable. Machine washable. Um, I would recommend hang dry just so you keep the fit. Um, so think about, like, you know, when you actually wash a sweater of your own at home, so machine wash it, hang dry it, so you don't lose the actual fit of it. Look at these guys. Liana, oh, Robert, Are these like Vitaly. labs, like chocolate labs? They do look like labs. How adorable <clears throat> are they? Tamika. I feel like no matter where you live in the country, if There's you live speech. in a place where you go outside and you do a lot of outdoor activity with your dog, these are perfect for outdoor um, activities. Uh, whether you're walking them, hiking them, um, going on a run or like a trail, yeah. you know, a trail ride with them. Cody's got These the yellow one. These are really on. great. Look, Look at, at this. Cody Look at the little yellow one on Cody. Yellow. Hanging How out in this living room. And as you can see, they're comfortable for your pet. So if you've tried a pet coat before and, you know, your dog really didn't like it, was kind of itching at it, yeah. trying to get it off, 
that just wasn't either the right fit or the right material. And what we have found with these is that the material is soft, it's cozy, it makes and them feel comfortable. It actually has what's called elasto fit technology, yeah. right? Like you so couldn't, it gives them a you hug. couldn't have something that didn't have a real tech term like that. But it it expands to hug your dog's unique shape with no more leg lifting. So a lot of us we put stuff on our dogs, and we have to like you know fit the leg through, fit this one through, fit the paw through. It can be frustrating for your animal. I mean, a lot of times it's frustrating for Luca and to the point where he's just like, you know what? Nope, I'm done. I'm out. I'm not doing this. But it has that water repellent shell. It's going to fit around your dog's body in all of those different sizes. Oh, it's giving a yawn. Um, Lupita, thank you for joining. But yeah, you're talking what? You're talking $48.99. It's so worth the investment. I mean, it's not just worth the investment for your pet. It's worth the investment so you don't have to worry about a lot of cleanup once you get back indoors from walking or going out, you know, with your pet. That's been one of the things that I feel like has been so, like, strenuous for us over the last couple of days is that it's raining. Yeah. It's been snowing. We bring him inside. He's wet. We've got to get the towel out, um, which, by the way, we love the towel from Pride and Groom. So, yes, we do. Uh, that is a lifesaver when you do have to, uh, you know, get their their paws and things like that. But this is definitely going to keep them warm, and it's going to keep them free of, you know, getting wet on on the top of their. Yeah, coat. the orange one that we have right here. This is actually called the Camp Life Puffer. So I dig this because. It just looks, it's Can this one, look this one screams I want to hang out by a fireplace, doesn't it? <laughs> this is the orange puffer, same water repellent outside <laughs> out. shell, again with that warm lined fleece on the inside, super easy with that technology that kind of just velcros on and off. Really easy form fitting for your dog, just kind of putting these hangers down here on the ground, but on the floor, but yeah. Honestly, I just I like get, how easy they are. It to doesn't put on. get any easier than that for your for your puppy. Truly, Luca, come, come here, here, buddy. Come here. We got come here. some dog food for you, which is come what we're going to be going to next. Oh, hey, Bob's. Hey, All right. He's hey, like, buddy. you know what? He's like, the heat is on Listen, in here. He's a star of the show at the moment. Uh, exactly. Let me go to Insta. Oh, you're nice uh, and warm. Pyrie Joseph, thank you for joining. Um, names are coming through here. Uh, we did say yes. Oh, yes, it is easy to wash. MB joined. MB, thank you for joining. Chad Bearden, thank you for joining. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask us. Oh, look at this guy. Is that a Frenchie? It looks like a Frenchie. Like a French Bulldog? It does. Right? Oh, yeah. how cute. It does look like a Frenchie. So let's show them this really quickly. Um, Nins Apparel joined. Nins, thank you for joining. The wood and metal elevated feeder. Let's get to that one Ooh. really quick because this is something have, brand new to can't us have a and dog also show. brand new to Luca, which I think. Can I have those hangers? Sure. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'm just, just going to slide this over back here. up for yep. you, honey. <laughs> I know a little bit of a mess here today. Look Sorry. So cute. So cute. Love all of the parkas and the jackets. Um, this is something that is absolutely brand new to us and brand new to Luca as well. Oh, check that out. Um, a little feeder. It's almost like a dining room table for your dog. <laughs> check this bad boy out right, right here. Wood and metal elevated feeder made of exotic durable mango wood with elevated metal base. And I tell you what, I'm going to flip this around in just a sec. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to do that now, actually, because I want to show you something here. Yes, it is an elevated table for your dog or your cat, but it has these tiny little knobs right here that you loosen, like so, and the legs are going to fold in so that you can actually store this. I don't want this coming down on me. Am I doing this wrong? Am I, am I, oh, the bowls come out? I thought that that, went, I thought that, that went in. Does that not go in? It does. What am I doing wrong? Well, come into the shot. Come into the frame. What am I doing here? Come on Wait, in. I don't know it's what okay. you're trying I'm to I'm trying do. to get this to go in. You can unscrew. You, yeah. You unscrew them, and then they fold. Yeah. I screwed it in to make sure it was oh, so, oh, you have to unscrew it the entire way. Oh, I got... Okay. Yeah. Sergio got, had a little <laughs> tutorial. You know what happened? I didn't have my espresso. 
Is that what it is? And Noel just destroyed my fingers. So that's okay. I don't have an index finger or a middle finger left anymore. That's okay. I'm just going to... And can you hold the other side so I can take the legs back down? Yes, perfect. Thank you. So Thanks a lot, Noel. Just destroyed my hand. No, I'm just kidding. But no, I just wasn't unscrewing it enough. But you can obviously store it like that in a pantry. Super easy. Take it out when it's dinner time. Dog bowl, uh, uh, feeder bowl, water bowl, super duper simple. And this is handmade in India, Tiff. It's beautiful. It right? is like, like I said, it's like a dining room table for your pet. Um, but I also feel like it's a nice piece of aesthetic furniture for your home. So think about where you have your dog bowls in your house. Mm -hmm. uh, we have ours in the mud room. A lot of people have theirs, like, you know, kind of whatever room is like right on the other side of the kitchen, or maybe you even have it in your kitchen. Yes. So regardless of what room it is, you want to make sure that the assortment that you have for your pet is aesthetically pleasing for your house as well. So I love the fact that it's like a piece of home decor, it is. but functional for your pet. Give them their own dining room table so that when you're dining and enjoying your family during dinner time, they're enjoying their meal and their you know a bowl of water dishwasher, at the same time. Dishwasher too. safe, right? So that's really good and made out of mango wood, excuse me. So the kind of wood that it's made out of is really, really fantastic. It's, sol it's a solid piece. I love that part about it. And someone just said that Luca looks like Paddington with that yellow, with that yellow jacket. Paddington Bear. Paddington, Paddington Bear. Paddington. That was a cool <laughs> movie. So Remember that cute. movie? She, actually, he does look like Paddington. So, now so that you said that, I didn't even realize that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, you're gonna need you're gonna need a dog feeder. It does open and close. We're not gonna have Noel come in because she almost chopped my fingers off. But it's <laughs> it's super easy. Noel's like, um, okay. You just, you just take this, you unscrew it, you mm. put you fold the uh, the legs in, and yeah, I mean it's uh, it's one of those dog bowls, right? Yeah, I think it's you know I think it is perfect for. I love the fact that it's like that natural wood um, look on the top with the with the iron black below. It's like to me totally my style mm -hmm. for our type of house, right? Mm -hmm. um, super cute, very functional, also travel friendly. Uh, like Sergio showed you, you can just unscrew the front, these flip up, and then you can definitely just, uh, you know, put it in your car, put it in a little carrying bag, yeah. take it wherever you go if you do travel with your pet. So think about this, if you guys are campers out there, you put this in your car, right? You get your little camp life puffer out, get your tent, set the legs out you don't have to worry about it your pet has his own little spot to eat and he has his his or her outfit to wear yeah in your little camping trip i know i know this <laughs> like, show is all cool is <laughs> for your pets yeah <laughs> so really pampering them this time of year make them feel warm and cozy too let them have fun and play outside like this little guy is doing uh, and it also makes it a lot easier for you as well in terms of clean up. When you come in the house, your dog's not going to be sopping wet. No. Uh, you might have to still dabble their, you know, kind of dry their paws a little bit to make sure that they're not getting it on your beautiful leather sofa. Yes. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely like the opportunity to be able to keep them warm and cozy. Also make them look incredibly cute. And if you want to have the cutest dog at the dog park, I definitely recommend picking up one of those. Speaking cargos. of um, Luca has done his day's work, yeah. by the way. Well, Luca is completely <laughs> tired. He's like, I my work is over. That twenty two minutes was enough for him. <laughs> um, apparently he is going to be charging overtime for this if we continue to go <laughs> any more minutes in the show. Zanus, um, Ray, Clara. Look at how tired um, he is. Thanks for joining. Yeah, and speaking of making your dog look cute. Yeah. Speaking of making your dog look cute on the outside, mm -hmm. how about the sweaters that we have? Like outdoor outerwear. How about the sweaters that we have? Yeah. The sweat. Oh, I forgot about the sweaters. I'm like, where are you going? I totally forgot about the sweaters. Seriously, Tim? Um, yeah. So great outdoor wear that we just showed you. But if you're looking for some right. really cute indoor wear as well, to me, these just scream like family photo. Right, Noel? Like, think about if you have a family photo coming up, especially this time of year, how about dressing your dog up too? These are so cute. Uh, these are like a cable knit type of sweater, uh, a little turtleneck, so definitely gonna keep them warm. Got little spaces for their front paws. Christy. Oh, how adorable. Look at this guy. 
Does he not uh, look cute? <laughs> Don't you just want to smooch his little face? Look at those wrinkles on his that face. That is definitely a Frenchie, right? No. Yeah. Uh, it's like a French bull. Yeah. Like I'm so bulldog. bad at like knowing the actual breeds. This is like, uh, like a golden retriever. That's not a golden. It looks like it. No. Just very well groomed, mm -mm. potentially. Um, so we've got two different options for you. One is the red, and what's that called, the red one? The chalet. The chalet. This, oh, no, is that the chalet or the fireside? No, the red is the chalet. Yep, so the red is the chalet. This is the chalet that you're seeing here. Look how adorable. These are comfortable. They're Turtle totally neck. worth um, the investment. They're super cute. They make them warm and cozy on the inside of the house as well. I mean, you know, during this time of year, it is a little chilly indoors. And perhaps when you're not at home, you've dropped the temperature a little bit in your house because you're saving on energy. Keep your pet warm and cozy when you're not home either. <laughs> but I also feel like a sweater um, just kind of gives them a little bit of a hug. That is so a well-trained dog, by the way. So sometimes it's like, you're helping like work their, you know, like lower their anxiety a little bit too, just by, just by giving them the comfort of the of the little sweater vest. Yeah, I love it. Se quality oversized knit, secure ribbed armed holes, turtleneck, superior, 100% acrylic, uh, machine washable and hang dry. This is $34.99 in the red chalet sweater. Then we have oh, the fireside is... sweater, Tiff. And by this the way, so cute, comes too. in double extra small all the way up to. 4XL. Uh, this one here is $32.99. Multi knit turtleneck vintage, like all those different sizes right there. Man, that's pretty much any size dog you could you could own. 3XL all yeah. the way up to 4XL. So take a look at that size chart if you're wondering, oh, where do I find that size chart? Click on the link below. Um, that's going to take you to more information about these items, <laughs> and then you can appropriately pick the size that is perfectly going to fit your little furry friend at home. Um, so whether you're picking up the chalet, which was the red one that we just showed you, or the fireside sweater. Linda. I mean, what a perfect name for the sweater, fireside. Like, wrap up in front of the fireplace. I mean, just look adorable. Totally on trend with the patterns and mm -hmm. the color schematic, uh, schematic uh, with this beautiful um, sweater. This one is under $33, $32.99. Click on the link below to make sure that you uh, can get the size that is perfectly going to fit your uh, gal, your dog at home. Oh, so cute. Yeah. Adorbs. Cody. Cody's really, really well trained. She puts the finger down, he sits, he rolls over. Look at that. Aww. Look at My dog's Aww. not trained like that. Well, Luca is going to be going to doggy daycare where he's going to learn all types of tricks. But Luca's are, a bad little boy. Are, that's not true. Yeah, he is. That is so... No. I, I am offended that you just called Luca a bad boy. He is. He is. Austin, thank you for joining. Okay. I mean, not at the moment. He's sleeping. But, you know, he jumps okay. all over the couch. He, like, well, you know... Well, we know who's going to be sleeping in the to... doghouse tonight. Well, guess who sleeps on the bed all the time? We're kicking you to the doghouse. Don't ever say that Luca is a bad boy ever Tiff, again. Tiff, I've been kicked to the doghouse ever since offended. we got this dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, no, but... um, what great items in the show today. I feel like the parka jacket is my personal favorite. What is your personal favorite for Luca? Uh, you asked which one's my personal favorite? Yeah, I did ask you a question just No, now. I the yellow. <laughs> the yellow one. The yellow. You like the yellow? I love the yellow. Instead yeah. of the orange, the orange the, is so cute what's that? too. What's that? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's Morton exactly Salt right. Dog. The Morton Salt Dog. All right, so Sergio's loving the yellow. I'm loving the navy blue parka. Um, I'd love to know which one you are loving or maybe which one you have picked up for your furry friend at home. Get it home. Try it. Super easy to put on. You've got two Velcro uh, straps. One that goes kind of right on their chest, underneath their neck, underneath their belly, as you can see here. Elasto fit technology, if you wanted to get Yeah, technical. that Elasto fit technology. Um, it allows them to be active while they're wearing it, too. Which because is... Because it does have a little bit of give to it. They're dogs, right? So they don't feel restricted while they're wearing it, which is that, that point of comfort that we were talking about, mm -hmm. you know, at the beginning of the show, is that it feels comfortable to them. They're going to want to wear it. This, the moment you bring this out of the closet, they're going to get excited about going out on a walk. They're not going to be like, no, I don't want to go outside. It's raining. Or no, I don't want to go outside. It's snowing and it's freezing outside. They're going to want to go outside regardless of uh, what inclement weather you're experiencing. Uh, because it's comfortable, it's cozy, and it's warm. Doreen, uh, Luke, uh, someone said Luca is our end of week mood. 
That's it right there. That's the end of the week mood right there. Is that Look our, at that. Is it POV that, or POV. Okay. Um, it's our POV, right? Super cute. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I love this little I guy. feel like Luca looks right now. You do? <laughs> okay. You good? <laughs> you, you do? You're exhausted? I am. Actually. You are? Sergio needs a parka. <laughs> Can we fetch a parka? <laughs> Tiffany, <laughs> you're too much, Tiff. You're too much today. No, um, Ahmet, thank you for joining. Um, everybody that's joining, you know, listen, today's show is all about dogs or cats, pets. Cody right there. I bet if you have a, like, I imagine, like, what are those cats that are just, like, but super, like, f fluffy? Do, is that, like, what's the type of cat? Cats what am I thinking fluffy. of? Fluffy cat. Not like a Siamese cat, but. Siamese? I don't know. You don't I'm know from. cats. I don't. I'm, I'm not a cat owner. I don't know types of cats. I know, I, I have Siberian. Siberian cat. I just imagine a Siberian cat in one of these cute little sweaters. Oh, totally. <laughs> How adorable. Totally. Do we have right? pictures of cats in these or no? No, we don't have pictures of cats in them. All right. So For all my you... cat lovers out there, we don't have the pictures of the cats, but that doesn't mean that you can't put these on. The cats to size, right? So I know. Cat person, dog person. Which one? I know. So you were... Which one are you? Did you grow up being a... Did you have cats or dogs? I love cats, well, but I am so allergic to cats. If I pet a cat and then take my hands anywhere near my face, my eyes swell, I start to sneeze, my throat closes up. All right, well, we don't want to experience that. I don't, um, and it's to tough. Self, no cats in the studio for no, sure. It's just, I'm allergic. I love them, they're so cute. I wish, I really wish I could like, you yeah. know, get down there and play with the well, cat like, like pet... I do with the dog, but I can't do it. I just, my pet, eyes. Pet dander and like pet hair is like a really real thing. I mean, that was one of the reasons why we, choose, we, were, why we chose Luca. But even when we had the other dog, I wasn't as allergic. I was. As, like cat dander Remember just Remember how bad me. I was? Like yeah. I had like allergies because of our dog shedding so much. So yeah, we're, we're having therapy about dog, um, dog sh hair and dander. So our show most of the time is a therapy session. We're trying to stay in line with the actual items in the show, but usually we're a therapy session. Do you guys not like the therapy session? Because this is really sometimes... We're this is our real life. We're just husband and wife. Sometimes this is the only time we actually get to sit down together and talk. True. The, the, I mean, he's being vaguely honest. Vaguely? Or, no, really honest. <laughs> That's how tired you are. <laughs> This is the only time we get to sit with each other. So, do you want us to go heavy heavy on the items or heavy on the therapy? Because we can do either Would one. Would you like to have therapy with us today? Listen, life in 2024, man. Uh, Le I Leanne, love this one. This, thank you the for red joining. One. What was the red one? Oh, the chalet. Yes. The chalet sweater. Click the link below, guys. This is under $35. Incredibly cute. Comes in sizes 3XL all the way up to 4XL. I mean, this is like super high quality knit cable, like cable knit, um, which is totally on trend right now. I'd love to have the sweater for myself in like a human version, right? I mean, how adorable. Oh, could you imagine if, well, not the sweaters, but I wish the coats were as easy to put on. Just it's like the Irish strap, strap. Oh, for humans? Yeah. <laughs> Why do they make them so easy for pets and not for humans? Although, like, I feel like, don't, aren't there like breakaway, like the breakaway clothes that have like the Velcro? Are those like basketball pants? Like that's what it reminds me of, like the snap, like, like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What'd you think I was talking about? I don't know. That's just what came to my mind. Oh, okay. But you just yeah. gave me a look, like something. Else I didn't came give to you mind. a look. I didn't even look at you. Some you did something. All right, you're you're weird. You gave a look. I said breakaway clothes. You were like, why would you say breakaway clothes? No, I I went to the like the snap off. Like we are they snaps those, or are they Velcro, the breakaways? The ones that I had, like, in high school, they were, like, the snaps. The snaps, right? Like, we would come out like we were, you know, like, the team, and then we'd get out on the court, and then we'd, like, take off the You played snap. basketball? I did know Where that. Where have you been? No, I knew that, but they didn't life. know that. But how tall are you? I, I, was, a, I was a shooting guard. I you? wasn't the center of the basketball but how, team. How, how, tall are, how tall are you? 5'2". Yeah, on a good day. That's and your I'm parents like. picked basketball. I was good at it. I mean, I was like, I scored a lot of points. You want to know something? Can, can I say something mm -hmm. honestly? Height isn't I, I have actually, I've actually played Tiff in basketball. Actually, when she gets hot, she, she actually can't miss. 
it's pretty it's pretty wild. Well, I would not get on the court. No, at seriously. Years old. She, no. Now, I mean, her I jump shot back that. in the day. I gotta say, for being five foot two, I've I've we've messed around. I've, I've watched you put some. I dribbled around you like you couldn't. I mean, you couldn't even follow. Like I was I was good. I was a good ball handler. Yeah. Why you gotta say I, I'm giving you a compliment and then you gotta take it to I dribbled around you and you I couldn't did. even catch I me. I mean, you were like old man Surge on the court. Anyway, we'll just <laughs> Jameer's dying laughing. I've been old man Surge on the court yeah, for well, a long time. Well, well, Basketball's not my thing. I love to watch it. I thing. I'm not. I don't play it. No. Yeah, it was not your thing. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Um, you're going off the rails. We are show. going off the rails. We typically do. <laughs> when go Tiff off gives you the, the wide-eyed look, that means this is going off the rails. Rope it back in. Did I give the wide-eyed look? You did. Jameer doesn't know what that you look did. looks like. Yet. You did. <laughs> Take a look at those cute little puppies. That's the fire side right there. Love that. I love that. Fire well, how much side was that? There. That one was what? Thirty-four ninety-nine. Thirty under under thirty-five dollars on this. The version? chalet is under thirty-five. The fire side is thirty-two ninety-nine. You're so, so you're talking super adorable. Less than thirty-five bucks for both, and it's something that your dog is going to thank you for over and over and over again. Cooler weather, cold weather, and with those coats, you're talking waterproof, lined with fleece. It's everything that your dog needs. Yeah. I agree. For the outdoors. All right. Look at how cute Cody is. All right, that we're, we're going to the weekend. I don't know about you, but we're out. If you notice my mood, it's Luca's fault. Look at Luca. Luca's making us all feel exhausted. I'm exhausted right now because of this dog. He put me in sleepy, sleepy night-night mode. It's like Luca took a melatonin. Franco, <laughs> thank you for joining. Luca took a melatonin and, and went to sleep. Thank you for joining us, everybody. All right, we will see you guys style. next week. We hope you have an amazing weekend. Hopefully it's filled with rest and fun and something super active outside so you feel alive. Um, but we will be back on Tuesday at noon. Um, yes. And hopefully Sergio and I will be very well rested for you. I highly <laughs> doubt it. Can somebody please pray that the sun comes out in eastern Pennsylvania? Because I've had it with this weather. We need, need some vitamin D. I need. Can we get just, some vitamin D? Look at Luca. It's and rainy. <laughs> it just, somebody please say a prayer for us and the weather. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Randy, thank you for joining. We'll see you guys later. Ciao.